Well, I'd, I'd, I'd this first hand. Um, so I signed for Manchester City in the August of 1996 on the Friday and Alan Ball got sacked on the Sunday. Um, and I thought, cheers for that. <laughs> and then from the August to the January, I actually had five different managers going through. So in the space of five months, the managers changed five times. And, and But within that period, in Manchester City at the time, were, um, they, they were a shambles, actually. You know, each manager that came in was allowed to sign their own players. And it wasn't until Joe Royal came in the following year, the following season. Um, when you think Premier League teams now have got a squad of 25 that are allowed to name, Joe Royal had 56 pros. There was three different, yeah, three different first team changing rooms. There was a changing rooms of the players that didn't want to be there at all, that Joe didn't want. There was a changing room of players that Joe wanted to keep but couldn't afford to keep, so he had to get them out. And there was a changing rooms of the leftovers that were to make up the 11 on the Saturday. <laughs> You know, and it was the atmosphere was poison all the way through, um, because you've got a group of players. Some who want to be there, some who don't want to be there, and that, that was it. That was, that was drawn down the line. Um, but I've got to give Joe so much credit for that and how he managed it. And it, going back to man management, his man management, how to get the players out he wanted to get out, how to manage to keep the players he wanted to keep, and then add a few more into it, was was genius. You know, and I, I still don't think to this day that he gets the credit for it. You know, and once they managed to do that, we ended up getting back-to-back -back promotions to the Premier League. Um, but if that hadn't have happened, you know, I think looking back now, I would have really have worried where Manchester City would have been now because it was. I mean, how can you sack a manager, bring in another another manager, let him sign five players, then sack him a month later, then do the same with another manager, but give them all two, three-year contracts? You know, it was to have fifty-six pros when at, at, on a Saturday you can name a squad of sixteen. You know, so so you're leaving forty players out, forty first team players who are contracted within that, and it was it was at times it was it was difficult, um, but that's that's where I've got to give Joe so much credit. Because I don't know how many managers or a lot of managers that would have been able to deal with that. You know, and people wonder why Manchester City went from the Premier League uh, down to the first division and down to mid table in the second division. I think if if you look behind the scenes, what was happening, it tells a story in itself.